Well, 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 it is spring. Well, spring is here in name only. And it's snowing a lot for spring, but that's all right. What are we doing today? We are doing a trip to Lloydminster today. Welcome everyone to Ready Steady Charge. I am Solomon and today it's another road trip. And uh, it's a bit of a special road trip because we're going to Lloydminster. And for me, it's special because I've actually never been there. In fact, I've never ever been to Saskatchewan, so this will be interesting. The reason I wanted to do this trip today, well, is because I want to show you guys what it's like to rely on level two charging while driving long distances. Previous road trips that I have done are all reliant on level three chargers, which are a lot faster. Right now, I am topping up at Shore Park, and this is the Canadian Tire. Uh, in Shore Park. So I am using one of the level 2 chargers to just get a couple more percentages into my battery before I go. Between Shore Park and Lloydminster, there are no charging stations. No level 2s and definitely no level 3s. So I have to make it there in one charge. The distance from here to Lloydminster is about 235 kilometers. Now as long as my consumption number is better than 4.5, kilometers per kilowatt hour, I should be able to make it there. And once I get there, I'm gonna have to plug in and use one of their level 2 chargers. Unfortunately, there are no level 3 chargers right now in Lloydminster, so I need to sit there and wait for a long time. While I'm there, uh, waiting for my vehicle to charge, I have a couple things that I plan on doing. Depending on the weather, uh, if the weather permits, I will visit uh, one of the parks in Lloydminster. I also intend to visit the border uh, between Alberta and Saskatchewan. And like I said, I actually never stepped foot into Saskatchewan before, so that'll be interesting. And the other thing is, I brought uh, study materials and some things for online courses. So I have a lot of things that I can do while I'm waiting. And part of why I wanted to do this trip is just to show you guys how important uh, level 3 chargers are along major uh, highways. So it makes EV travel very easy. Relying on level 2 chargers, which are also destination chargers, they will provide you with a full charge after a couple of hours. So these are really meant for you to go do something else, either be it conduct business, work, travel, or stay overnight while your vehicle charge. We're ready to go, and our battery is sitting at 97%. The battery temperature is at 13 degrees. Now, because we are relying only on level two charging on this trip, the battery temperature is not so important because a level two charger charges slower and the battery doesn't actually have to be warm to reach full speed on level two charger. We have arrived in uh, Lloydminster. Uh, I was planning on taking a break in uh, Vagerville, but uh, there was a rest stop, so I went for a bathroom break there. And I looked at my consumption at that point, and it's more than good enough. So let me show you what it's like. 5.4 kilometers per kilowatt hour is our consumption, and that's actually pretty good. That's really good. We arrived with 30% battery, which is a little bit more than I thought. And that just means we have to charge a little bit less before we head back to Edmonton. 
I have just plugged in, and I'm using one of these uh, Sun Country chargers. I think almost all PV Marts in Alberta have one of these. So why do I like the Sun Country Level 2 chargers so much? Because other than Tesla destination chargers, these tend to be the fastest Level 2 chargers around. Uh, typically, Level 2 charging uh, in Alberta can range somewhere between 5.5 to 7.4. And right now I'm getting 7.2. And usually Sun Country chargers I have used, they have all delivered somewhere above 7.0 kilowatts, and that's pretty good. How long do I have to charge here for? Well, the trip here took me 70% of my battery, so technically if I have 70%, I should be fine. Um, but I always like to leave myself a little buffer, which means I have to charge up to at least 70%, I think I'll go up to 80 or 85% so that I definitely have enough to get back. Now, how long do I have to be here for? So with 7.2 kilowatts of charging speed, I'm getting about 10% battery um, per hour. And that is based on a little bit of charging loss. So if I'm looking at my OBD display, uh, that tells me the real charging speed versus what my vehicle is telling me. The real charging speed is actually about 6.3 to 6.4, which is actually right on the dot for 10% per hour. If I want to get to 80%, uh, that means I probably need to be here for about 5 hours. So it is uh, around 1 p.m. right now, and if I charge here for 5 hours, that will bring me to 6 p.m. And if I do 6 hours, it's 7 p.m. So around 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., I think that's where I'm going to leave. And that will get me home to Edmonton at around uh, 9.30 to 10 p.m. What I'm going to do now is, well, go for a bathroom break and uh, have some lunch. It's about 6 p.m. and we are charged to 80%. Um, this is enough for me to get back. And I'm planning on going back to Edmonton uh, instead of stopping at Shore Park. Before I actually head back to uh, Edmonton, I wanted to go visit the monument at the Alberta and Saskatchewan border. In a moment's time, I will be in Saskatchewan. right next to the KFC and as you can see these are the giant poles that mark the border between Alberta and Saskatchewan. Well we've reached our goal we are now in Saskatchewan and it's time to go home back to Edmonton it's another uh, 250 kilometers of driving That was a long trip. Welcome to Edmonton, everyone. Uh, we are back, and uh, let's take a look at the numbers. We have arrived with 9% battery, and our consumption is the same as 
on our way there. So it's 5.4, which makes the consumption for our whole trip 5.4 kilometers per kilowatt hour. We started in Shore Park with almost 100% battery. We arrived in、uh, Loyminster with 30%, and that's total of 70% battery used. And on our way back, we started with 80% battery in Lloydminster. And when we came to Edmonton, and remember, we came to Edmonton, not Shore Park, so it's an extra 15 kilometers. We have 9% battery. And how is this trip overall? Well, it's a it's a long day. I'll tell you that.、Uh, mostly because I had to wait for five hours in Lloydminster while the vehicle charged. And here's the key with. Traveling using level two chargers versus level three chargers. Level two chargers are meant to be destination chargers, which means you arrive somewhere to do something else while you wait for the vehicle to charge. Some examples are: you arrive at a hotel, you plug in overnight, your vehicle is charged. You arrive at a tourist attraction, you stay there for a few hours, and after you're back, your vehicle is charged. Or you go into Somewhere to hike, and you plug in. You go hiking. You come back. Your battery is pretty much charged. So level two chargers are meant to be used in a way where you arrived at the destination, and you went to go do something else, and you're not sitting there waiting for a vehicle to charge. And some of my final thoughts are: I hope that、uh, Highway 16 gets as much attention as Highway One. So the Trans Canada Highway One has a ton of Level Three chargers along it, and you will always have something to use along that route. However, Highway 16 is very barren in terms of Level Three chargers. There are some Level Two chargers, but they are still spaced very far apart. If your destination was Lloydminster, it's actually not too bad because you have three、uh, Level Two chargers that you can use. But if you're doing a trip like me, you go there and you come back on the same day. Unfortunately, you gotta rely on those slower chargers to charge your vehicle slowly. Thank you so much for joining me today on this long journey to Lloydminster and back. I hope you enjoyed our video and would subscribe to our channel for more electric vehicle content. As always, my name is Solomon, and see you on the next one.